Some groups of comparison cars require a considerable amount of planning and creative musing. Others fall out of the sky and blend together like a bag of sour skittles. Here are three of the sweetest offerings with Big Bite to boot from across the pond. BMW's M Division decided it would do us all a favor and make entry into the M Performance brand a little more affordable. Thus the 1 Series M Coupe was born, borrowing much of its high performance hardware from the M3 while receiving a few special parts of its own. The moment we laid eyes on it, we couldn't help but love the huge protruding fender flares, accommodating the wide track widths of its all aluminum M3 suspension. The 1M's shorter wheelbase means ultra-snappy transitional response, with nearly none of that ugly pre-existing understeer plaguing lesser 1 Series models. The twin turbo feels brutish as it comes on boost, and flings you out of the corner quicker than any other car in this test, which we credit to the turbo's high load overboost function. The 1M's rather upright seating position feels a little high for sporting comfort, but is the most beginner friendly because it allows you greater outward visibility. With a virtually faultless six-speed manual gearbox rounding out the package, this Mini M car makes a highly compelling argument against spending over $30,000 more for its two-seat competition. The Evora S is the car Lotus should have launched from the beginning. It's as if Lotus annealed the original car to reveal a sharper, more purely focused weapon. The crowning improvement comes in the form of a Roots-type Harrop supercharger, which significantly enhances the Toyota Source V6 to a test-topping 345 horsepower with 295 pound-feet of torque. Power delivery is lagless and linear, plus there's a new sport button function that enlivens the throttle and activates a muffler bypass, which takes the exhaust note from meek to masculine in an instant. On the track, the Evor S is delicate and laser precise. It has wonderfully light steering and a surprisingly plush suspension, which feels extremely composed on city streets, yet still works wonders on the track. The only real issue we had was with the six-speed transmission, as the second gear synchro issue retired the car from hot laps sooner than we'd have liked. Nevertheless, the Evora clocked the fastest time of the day with the fewest laps in the saddle. The winner and still middleweight champion of the automotive sports coupe world remains Porsche's Cayman, and the Cayman R is the best iteration yet. With the least gain squeezed out of their 330 horsepower naturally aspirated flat six, Porsche had to look elsewhere for performance enhancement. The battle plan they decided on was leaner and meaner, so they attacked the Cayman's belt line removing a claimed 121 pounds while lowering the suspension, widening the track, and stiffening the springs, anti-roll bars, and dampers. Aside from undercutting its competition's mass, the Cayman R's real talent resides in its unflappable track dynamics and tailor-made driver interface. This is a car that epitomizes the advantages of a mid-engine layout, as it translates even ham-fisted steering inputs into the graceful kinematics you originally intended. To top it off, if you're one who likes to stir your own gearbox, the Cayman's six-speed manual is as good as it gets, blending positive engagement with creamy fluidity. So which one is it? Our overall ratings have the Porsche earning a landslide victory in the finals, having approached the battle with the best balanced repertoire of the three. In this test, however, each car owns a particular advantage over the others, so it's really more a matter of preference. The BMW's bang for the buck appeal, the Lotus's dominating track performance, or the Porsche's pedigree and complete package. That's up to you.